Okay, for today's signal stacking demo, I'm going to stack two signals, um, one for findings of a 10K or earnings report and trends and initiatives that a company would be investing in there, and the other for someone who's recently changed the job. Uh, and the idea of doing that is that, you know, someone who is starting a new gig probably wants to make an impact and also wants to align with the initiatives listed in a 10K. So, um, to do that, I'm going to add a filter group here, create a filter group. And when I do that, I'm going to type in news and I'll select news category here. And so there's a lot of different, uh, options of, of things here you can, you can um, select like acquisitions or expansion into new areas. Uh, I'm going to click on invest into, and we want to see what this, um, get a list of companies who are investing into AI. So I'm going to add another filter here and also type in news and just do a keyword search for the word AI. So this will give us a list of, uh, organizations who have, um, said that they're listed somewhere that they're investing into AI and that news published in the last 28 days. Now I can select, um, before adding the job change, I'm going to go in and actually dive into one of these accounts first. Um, this is, uh, in demo mode. So obviously this is Salesforce. I'm going to click into Salesforce. Um, the names are changed here. Um, but one thing we can do now is actually drill into see where that specific AI initiative is, um, happening. So to do that, we can, uh, we can uh, tap into Rumi AI, which is common rooms, AI powered agent. I can select AI initiatives. If I wanted to, I can change this prompt here to, uh, any prompt that is more specific or however you want to calibrate that. Um, to me, this looks fine right now. So I'm just gonna click get response. And then this will give us a summarized view of all of the news articles that are recently published, um, and how Salesforce in this case is planning to invest in AI and also give you the sources that, um, that it found as well. So if you want to reference that in some sort of like outbound sequence or something, uh, so this looks great. I'm going to save this as a uh, note to the account. So anyone who's researching this account can like now see this quickly. Um, I'm going to close this and then let's go find the person who are people who have changed jobs recently and got a new job at Salesforce. So this is an overview of all the activity that's happening and all the signals we're finding within this account, which is pretty robust. And then from here, we can see all the contacts match to those signals. And I'm just going to simply apply a filter here for job change. If I click here, this will give me people who have changed jobs in the last six months. Uh, but then I would like to narrow that down to more recent job changes. So I'm going to say it's at 12 weeks here, which gives us just Kelly. Um, if I click on Kelly here, and again, this is demo, so this is not actually a real person. Um, I can uh, see Kelly's interactions with us, uh, and signals that we've found of Kelly about Kelly. Um, I can click on, uh, create, generate a snippet for me, a personalized snippet, um, to, uh, copy paste, uh, send a DM. Uh, send a LinkedIn message, uh, send a text message. Um, we can grab this. This is all generated by AI, which is a nice little, um, helper for, uh, so you don't have to, to write a message from scratch. And then what's even better is I can add Kelly to an outbound sequence. Um, and that same message will show here and just be added to our sequence zero tool. Uh, as long as you have like a little, um, a little, uh, placeholder where this message would then be customized. So, um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty powerful stuff. And I'm going to add Kelly to that sequence and we're off to the races. Thanks.